you for example you said you were a transfer student from another college so like how was the transfer process did they treat you like a number or were they really invested in like your success and trying to make sure the the transfer went fluidly you know what i mean it could be that or it could be <laughs> you know you go to the registrar's office and you ask them where the washroom is and they tell you you know go fuck yourself or whatever the case is you know what yeah I mean? so, um i i definitely have um had a couple of issues with the admin department in the past. Um, so as a transfer student, you're required to send in your transcript from your previous college. Now, if, if there's one tip that I, or one thing that, that I found out that was actually really helpful being a transfer student is that if you have so many credit hours in college before you come here, you do not have to submit your high school transcript at all point blank period, you don't have to, you just have to submit the college transcript. Now, as far as the transfer process, that was not terribly difficult, but then when it came down to scheduling classes, I did run into some issues. Um, at my previous school, um, I took an art history class and that is something that is required here. And I noticed within the first few days of the class that I was like, this is really starting to seem like the class that I took back at my last school, like it's adding up to like way too well. The time periods that we're studying about are in the exact same order. We're learning about the exact same artwork. And I was like, why am I in this class if, if I've already taken it? And I went to um, um, my uh, success advisor and basically, um, so I, like I asked her, I was like, okay, so I need this to be checked because I took an art history course at my last school. I need to know like why I'm in this class. And then we went back through my transcript and the art history class that I had taken at my last school was not even on my transcript. Jeez. So I had to go back through my old school. Like I had to call up their registrar office and be like, look, they're saying that I did not take an art history class, but I know for a fact I did. Did the transcript get messed up or something? And they're like, uh, we don't know, but we're going to send over a new copy of the transcript. So they did and they got it. And I went back for another meeting and she basically told me, um, oh, well, the syllabus on your art history course at your last school didn't quite add up to what we have here. And, and I'm just sitting there thinking I, I'm literally doing the same exact thing. <laughs> I'm learning the same exact BS. Not that it's BS. I absolutely love some, some of my art. Like I liked my art history class last quarter, but the first one was just an absolute drag. <laughs> um, so that happened. And then they're telling me now that I actually have to take another math course. And that's kind of a pain because I'm horrible at math. I, had, I hate it with a passion. Um, and I took a math course at my last school. And the math course that I actually took is a um, step above the one that they teach here as a foundations course. And they're telling me I still have to take one. And I'm like, why do I have to take one if I took one that's more advanced than the one you have here? And she couldn't really give me a definitive answer. She was basically like, you either have to take the class or you pay 80 bucks and uh, hope that you get a 50 on it so you don't have to take the course. So <laughs> so what, wait, uh, they told you to pay $80 and hope you get a 50? What does that mean? So, so basically, uh, if you want to get out of the class, you have to take a, um, a test, basically. And you have to score at least a 50 to get out of that math class. It could be different for any of the other courses like English or psychology or, or what have you. Um, the only problem that I've run into is with math. So. Oh, that's cool. So you could pay your way out of a class, but that's only if you've taken it before. Yes. But okay. you actually have to like get a significant score on the test for it yeah, to, yeah, yeah. for it to count. So it's not like pay 80 bucks. You don't have to take it. it, yeah, it yeah, I, hard, I wish it was that simple. How hard is it, it to get simple. 50 on a, on a test though? I don't know. I haven't taken it, but, uh, <laughs> okay. but I did take one at my last school and I honestly don't know how I graded into the, so there's like math 101 and then math 102. And I, and I scored into math 102 and I, I, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea how I scored into math 102. I, I was like, holy shit. Like I've never been good at math. How did I even pull this off? Right, and so, right. so that's basically where I was at. Okay. That. Okay. 